Are you looking to customise your records within HubSpot so you don't get overwhelmed with all the noise and only see the information that you want to see? Well, carry on watching this video. I'm going to show you just how to do that. So I'm in a contact record now, and you're probably familiar with this. The left-hand side, you have all this information here about the contact, the communication, subscriptions, website activity, etc. On the right-hand side, you have all the association cards. So any company I'm associated with, all this contact associated with, any deals, tickets, and so on and so forth. Now, firstly, um, you may or may not be aware uh, what you've just seen me do is collapse these. Uh, we speak to a lot of people that aren't aware that they can actually do that. Okay, so that's the first thing that can help you keep things tidy. The second thing is that you can customize this on two levels. You can customize it on a global level, so anyone within the company you can set, um, you can set what they see. Um, and on the le left hand panel here, the about this contact, you as an individual can decide your view and add things to your default view here. So again, just to be clear, the company, uh, your organization can create a default view here. So, so all these here are part of my default view and I can't change that as an individual, but I can add to these. Okay, so in order to add to those, what we do is we go to the view all properties. And there's hundreds of properties within HubSpot and some of it's going to be useful to me, um, some of it's not. Okay, so what I can see here on this left hand side is um, my default view. So I can't delete any of these. You can see I'm getting an error message if I hover over the X. Okay, but I've got all this other information that I can uh, add in. So for example, um, let me just go to uh, zero. Okay, so we uh, we have integrated into the accounts package zero and if I want to see whether they've got any outstanding invoices uh, Yeah, I don't want that permanently on my view because perhaps I work in the accounts department uh, I can have this information in there. Okay, so if I now go to the back you can see now uh, I've added this to my view now I stress that that's my view I've just done this for me as an individual Okay, so what we can do on a global level is we can set the default here, the default what everybody sees, and then on the right hand side uh, we can set um, you, we can set this and show only the cards that are associated to particular teams. Um, so let me just firstly go into this left hand customization then. So what we do is we navigate over to our settings over here. And on the left hand side, we're going to go down to um, properties and then the particular object type that you want to customize. So on this occasion, it's a contact record. OK, and we're in the contact record uh, or the, the settings for the contact record. And I go over to record customization. So you can see here I've got two options. I can customize the right sidebar or the left sidebar. So let's start with the left hand side sidebar. So you can see this is the default. This is what everybody sees. If I go to edit, okay, um, you've got this one section. Okay, so now let's see. Let's say that I want um, some of these other information in there. For example, how many deals uh, people have got, number of associated deals, and perhaps the recent deal amount and the recent close date. Okay, so I would want that there. And um, if I now hit this section here, you can see that that's added in. So if I save that, I'm going to go back to the record and just uh, refresh my screen. And what you'll see now is the number of associated deals, recent deal amount, recent deal close date is now there. Okay, and that's going to be like that for everybody. And uh, here's the invoicing details that I previously added. Now again, that can be a little bit of a mess for people. So we're going to just customize this a little further. Where you see these sections, it's about this contact, communication, subscriptions, website activity. It's possible for me to add in new sec uh, different sections here. Now I'll stress here that that is for sales, uh, for people that are on either sales and marketing or service pro and enterprise levels only. So if you want a free version or starter version, uh, whilst you can change the default, you're not going to be able to add in other sections. Okay, so let's just go and see how to do that. I'm going to go back to my uh, contact settings. Okay, I'm going to go back to record, uh, record, uh, record customization. Okay, and it was my left sidebar. 
Okay, so here's my sidebar that here. I'm gonna edit this and I'm actually gonna make a section here for sales. So I've just hit add new section. Okay, I'm gonna click on the, uh, click here and call it sales. Okay, and if you have enterprise, you can actually make this section conditional. So for example, you could only show that section if um, the deal, uh, the number of associated deals is greater than zero. Um, so uh, yeah, you can only show it if it's relevant. So again, just further minimizing the noise, but uh, we only have the pro. So uh, yeah, we don't have that conditional option here. So let me add in these um, items that I wanted. Uh, the deal uh, deal information. So I wanted re recent deal amount, recent deal close, uh, close date, and let's say the number of associated deals. Now by adding it to there, it hasn't taken it away from the previous one. So what I need to do is just go and uh, take it out of um, the about this contact section. So now you can see I've got two sections here. I'm gonna save that. And if I go back and show you, uh, refresh the contact record, you can now see I've got this sales, um, this sales drop down here, uh, which I can get that useful information for. So I could do that for sales, accounts, uh, um, account management, etc., etc. Okay, so that's how we customize the left hand bar. Now, as I say, in the right hand bar, it is possible to customize this. Now, the way this works, it's based upon teams. So you can set a default view for each individual team. So this is my default. This is what everybody sees. So there's far too much information on there. So what I can do is I can go back to my settings. Okay, and this time I'm gonna customize the right sidebar. And you can see here, I've already got two teams set up, one for management, one for sales teams. So if I go into the sales teams, I can say, well, actually all they need to see on the right hand side is the company's deals and the sales navigator in integration. Um, so I'm happy with that. If I wanted to add more, I could hit the add card and it gives me all my different options here. In fact, I'm gonna add in the playbooks as well. So I'm gonna save that. Okay, now I won't see that if I go to my contact record because I'm not a member of the sales team. So let me just go and um, add me as a member to the sales team. So I'm just going to go down, say, users and teams. I'm going to um, just go to teams here. I've got the sales team there. I'm going to put in myself there. Okay, so now I'm a member of that sales team. Okay, so if I go back to uh, my record and I'm going to refresh, you can see my right hand sidebar has now changed so it just has the information that I want. So you can see there that I've got rid of a lot of the noise, tidied it up a bit and I can now surface the information that I want. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please give us a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified of new content as we publish it. So thanks for watching.